Hey there, everybody. I love you so much. I'm so glad that you joined me today on the Have You Heard podcast. I'm your host, Emma Mae McDaniel, and I just am really glad that you're here. Today, we are talking about what it means to have a happy heart. Because while that sounds great, and I think everybody desires to have that, sometimes it seems impossible based on the circumstances that we're walking through because life is hard, life is full of troubles, and that is that is real, that is universal. So what does it look like to have a happy heart whenever that's a reality frequently? So I'm very, very excited to go into the Word with you and be encouraged by God's Word with you. Guys, without further ado, faith comes by hearing. So grab your headphones and let's get into the word. So before I get into the heart of this message, if y'all have not listened to the last two podcast episodes, I want to kind of catch you up a little bit. You should totally go check them out. We are in a series because Josh and I, Josh is my husband, we have launched a spring collection of of clothes. And the three items that we have dropped for this spring collection, we called it MMA Collection, is a sweatshirt that has Friend of God on it. It is a hat that has a green smiley face on it. And it is this set, you can't see the shorts, but it's a set of shirt and shorts and it has very dainty words that say happy heart. And so for the last, um, including this one, three episodes, we've been going into why we chose those things to be on those clothes. Why did we choose those designs? The heart behind it. We go to scripture to talk about why we selected those things. And so it's really the message behind the merch kind of series. So again, if you haven't checked out those, totally go and do that. But that is what today is. It is the grand finale of this series where we are getting to talk about a happy heart. Why Josh and I chose that. And I'm excited because I've been encouraged in the Lord by his word as I've been studying and as we've been preparing to share this with you. So I really hope it blesses you too. The theme verse of this little saying, happy heart, it comes from Proverbs 15, 13. And Proverbs 15, 13 says, A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. And this word happy, other versions you'll see say glad, a glad heart. They both mean full of or producing joy. A heart that is full of or producing joy is going to show itself in a cheerful face. It's going to show itself on the outside but heartache crushes the spirit. And when I read this, you know what it makes me think of is that the our lives, the outside of it is going to be a reflection of what is taking place inside. No matter how hard we try to put, put up a front, to have a mask on, to show that everything's okay, or to present ourselves in a certain way, if it isn't a transparent reflection of what how we're actually doing, then there's going to be a point where we break and the outside is going to be a genuine reflection of the inside because that's just how it is. Um, it's a guarantee that the condition of our souls will be will manifest itself into our lives. And, and so I just want to encourage you that you can either make the decision to be honest about where you're at um, and walk through that in a genuine healing kind of way with the Lord and with godly community, or you can continue to try and pretend, but know that ultimately it's going to make itself known and it's going to manifest itself in a way that you're like, man, I'm glad that it's out there, but I would have protected myself from so much harm and from so much regret and from so much um, just surface level relationships that could have gone deep and been vulnerable and real if I had opened up and been honest about how I was really doing. So I think it's just really interesting that a happy heart, it's going to make itself known in a cheerful face and heartache, it's going to crush the spirit. Like it affects who we are. Um, The inside is going to reflect itself to the outside and kind of just talking about heartache. It's real. And man, if I were to go down a list of reasons why you and I would have crushed spirits, why you're maybe listening and your heart is aching right now, you have a broken spirit, uh, the list would go on and on and on. I mean, we go from wars to divided homes to having these big dreams that you're so excited about and then you're walking in the reality of them not 
unfolding how you had hoped that they would. We walk through sickness. We walk through the death of loved ones. We walk through betrayal and rejection. We, Friends, our life is full of trouble and therefore the list of chaos and reasons to have a broken heart and a crushed spirit is quite lengthy. And those reasons, I just want to encourage you that they're real and they're valid. And I want you to also know that the Lord sees them. He sees the circumstances that you're in. He sees the condition of your heart, whether it's a happy one or it's a crushed one. He sees it and he cares about you. Not only does he see what you're going through, but he sees you and he cares about you. And so I just want to affirm and encourage you in that. And I mean, scripture even promises this reality of a troubled world, of reasons that we will walk through that will, that could give us, or let me say it this way. We're going to, regardless of who you are, or where you live, or what family you you grew up in, you're going to walk through circumstances that give you reason to have a crushed spirit. And scripture even says in this world, John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble. It's, it's a guarantee. But I also, I want to share some more of that verse in another verse that whenever we were in the thick of COVID and like the whole world was shut down, like I was back at home quarantining um, to whenever like I was supposed to be on my college campus, just, I mean, everybody listening to me can relate to what I'm saying in the sense that everybody's quote unquote normal um, was no longer that. And it was during that time that I was studying through the book of John. And I thought this was so interesting. So if you go with me to John 14, 27, you will see Jesus talking with his disciples. And this is not too far away from him. He's about to be um, praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's about to be arrested. He's about to go under trial. He's about to be persecuted and suffer greatly and die on the cross and be buried and raise again. Like this is right before all of that is about to take place. And so he's talking with his disciples and he says some incredibly encouraging things. And one thing that he says to them in John 14, 27 is my peace I give you. My peace I leave with you, and I do not give to you as the world gives. So don't be afraid. Don't let your hearts be troubled. And so that that will just calm your soul really quick. That'll, that hypes me up in the reality of my God's authority and the fact that he gives me something that the world cannot give and therefore the world cannot take it away. I am in him and therefore I have total access to his peace. But then you fast forward to this verse that I just quoted earlier in John 16, 33, where Jesus is still in this conversation with his disciples. And he says, as I mentioned, in this world, you will have trouble. But then it continues and it says, but take heart for I have overcome the world. So you know what this tells me looking at these two verses together? I see that Jesus gives me peace and it is not as the world gives. So I don't have to be afraid and I don't have to let my heart be troubled. But then I read just two chapters later that in this world, I'm going to have trouble. And when I read that, I had just this sweet, encouraging reality wash over me that, wow, friends, I'm so excited to tell y'all about this product because it's something I literally use every single morning. Athletic Greens is something I started using because it's really important to me to take care of myself and be the healthiest version of Emma that I was made to be. And plus, I travel all the time. And sometimes with traveling, it's hard to get your greens in and eat well. And this is something that I can travel with me and have my greens in even on the road. And I want to tell y'all, I thought this was so cool. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues and ended up on a complicated supplement routine to recover. And it actually ended up costing him $100 a day. So in evaluation of that, he created Athletic Greens after experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutrition routine on his own. So we're hyping this stuff up quite a bit, but what even is it? Friends, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start off your day awesome. 
The ingredients packed in this one scoop supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging. I mean, it's just all the things. Athletic Greens is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take care of yourself. And so right now, friends, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. Like I said, it's so easy, so simple. I literally take it every single morning before my breakfast. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Emma. That's athleticgreens.com slash Emma to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Are you planning ahead for a big expense? Well, friend, don't put those car repairs or medical bills on a high-interest credit card. Credit Karma can help you look for a low-interest personal loan that could save you money while you pay off your purchase. I know that Josh and I really care about where we're at financially, and so we use Credit Karma just to keep track of our credit scores, and guys, it doesn't even hurt our score. Comparing loan offers on Credit Karma is 100% free. We love that. It won't affect your credit scores and it could save you money. Plus, Credit Karma uses your credit data to find loan offers that are personalized to you so you can have a better idea of what loan amount that you can get approved for. Are you ready to apply? Head to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to see personalized offers. Again, go to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to find the loan for you. That's creditkarma.com slash loan offers. When I read that, I had just this sweet, encouraging reality wash over me that, wow, a troubled world does not have to mean a troubled heart. And in application to this verse that we're studying today, crushing circumstances, hard times, difficult days, tough seasons that we walk through, To mourn is legitimate and it is human and the Lord walks with us through that. To have sorrow is a part of being human and walking through this broken world. This is not, this is not our end game. This is not our final home. It's a part of this world that has trouble as Jesus is saying. But he has overcome And so those circumstances that I walk through do not have to dictate the condition of my soul. Those days that I walk through do not have to determine the condition of my heart, the posture of my heart. Guys, this is so cool to me. The the outward things that take place in my life don't have to have authority over what takes place within me because... Whenever you confess your whenever you confess that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved and he will indwell within you. His spirit lives in you. And so by this, you can have peace and you can have joy that is sustainable and powerful and authoritative and enduring in the midst of crushing circumstances. We are pressed on all sides, but we are not crushed. Why? Not because of any strength that we have on our own, but because of the strength of he who lives within us and empowers us to walk through this life, to run this race that he has set before us with endurance. And so all of that to say is that we got some trouble in this world. And the list of reasons to have a crushed spirit, to have a broken heart, to have heartache, it goes on and on and on. And it's real. And God sees it. And he sees you. And while that list of reasons is so long, I want to share one reason with you for why you can have a happy heart. I want to share one reason as to why you can smile today. And I understand that some of you listening may be having the best day you've ever had. 
And some of you may be listening, like, it took you strength just to hit the play button because you're like, I don't even know if I can listen to scripture right now because I'm just in a frustrated place and I just want to be frustrated. So I don't think it's an accident that you're here. And I hope that this encourages you to know that God is with you in the midst of frustration. He's with you in the midst of sorrow. He's with you in the midst of of confusion and of hurt. He sees it. He cares about it. He says, cast your cares on him for he cares for you. But with those tons of reasons that you have to have a crushed spirit today, I want to give you one reason as to why you can smile, as to why you can have a happy heart. And it's really simple, but don't overlook it. Don't say, oh, I've heard that before, and so I've grown numb to the power of it. This one reason is that God is with you. Because of him, you have the greatest and most authoritative reason to rejoice. Because when you walk through the sorrow, the presence of God empowers you and sustains you with joy. Even though the psalmist said, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For God and you, my shepherd, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me, even though I walk the darkest valley. My happy heart, my my decision to rejoice is not based on whether or not I'm in a valley. It's based on who is with me when I'm in the valley, who is with me when I'm on the mountaintop. It is in him. And I also want to encourage you that to have a happy heart in the midst of great difficulty is not to pretend that something isn't tough when it is greatly difficult. A cheerful face, is a smile, is not there for the purpose to cover up a broken spirit, but rather to have a happy heart in the midst of great difficulty is to fix our eyes on a great God whose joy is our strength. To have a cheerful face, again, is not to... It's not to cover up something in a fake way, but rather to have a cheerful face is to reflect. Because again, as we talked about, a happy heart makes the face cheerful. The outside of my life is going to reflect what's going on in here, what's going on on the inside. So to have a cheerful face is to reflect the power of the Holy Spirit from within, who is the stronghold of my life. To rest in his presence because his presence is where the fullness of joy exists, is to trust that he is sovereign, It's to trust that he's faithful in the midst of whatever circumstance you may be walking through today. I love Romans 15, 13 that says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him and are filled with confident hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Notice that none of that has to do with your current troubled circumstances. But amidst those current troubled circumstances, the God of hope fills me with all joy and peace as I trust in him. And by the power of his spirit, I'm filled with a confident hope. Even though I walk through the darkest valley in the shadow of death, I can still have a happy heart. And I can still have a cheerful face because I have a God who's with me and who's faithful and he is the presence of joy. And I want to encourage you too, in in Psalm 34, 18, it says that God is near to the brokenhearted and he saves the crushed in spirit. And I'm so thankful, aren't you, that God is near to the brokenhearted and that he's so kind to save us when we're crushed in spirit. His nearness, let his nearness be your reason to rejoice today. His kindness to save me is worthy of my praise. His kindness to save you is worthy of your praise. Friends, it is fitting to praise the Lord. You will never feel more like who you were meant to be than when you're praising God with your whole self. 
Even when your circumstances give you thousands upon thousands of reasons not to. Even whenever you're in wars and you're hearing rumors of wars. Even whenever your home is divided. Even whenever your dreams aren't unfolding the way that you thought that they would. Even whenever you're facing sickness and uncertainty and betrayal and rejection. Even when I walk through the darkest valley in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil and I can rejoice in my God because it is fitting to praise him. I want to leave you with this. In the presence of the Lord, there is the fullness of joy. And that is Psalm 1611. It's like one of my favorite psalms ever. But Psalm 1611, in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. Not in the presence of a certain circumstance. Not whenever I've got all my ducks in a row and everything is as I hoped it would be. It's even whenever everything feels sticky and feels uncertain and feels difficult. When my God is with me, I am strengthened in the fullness of joy, not partial joy. And this is so cool to me. Scripture says that God never leaves you and he never forsakes you. And if in the presence of God is the fullness of joy and God never leaves you and never forsakes you, then that means that the fullness of joy never leaves you and never forsakes you. But the question is, will you choose to walk in step with him? And I also, this is just so cool. As I was like thinking about our time together, I was thinking about this passage. Let me see. Let me find it. It's in Habakkuk. And you see, I'm thinking of the song. Did, you have, did y'all ever like learn the song um, to know where scripture was? Like to learn the, it goes like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second King, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah. Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Jose, Job, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk. That's what we're looking for. Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Uh, have you ever heard that? That's how I learned where the bi- books of the Bible were. Um, that's awesome. That's how I like. I learned where to go. Let me see. Sorry, bear with me. (laughs) I promise this is so good. I promise this is going to be worth the wait. We're almost there. Here we are. Okay. Found it. (laughs) <laughs> Habakkuk 3, it's literally the end of the book, okay? Habakkuk 3, um, starting in verse 17. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms. He's about, you know how we just kind of listed off some reasons to why we would have a crushed spirit and why we wouldn't have a happy heart. He's kind of listing off some pretty legitimate reasons. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, And there are no grapes on the vines. Even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren. Even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty. What does he say? Verse 18. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer able to tread upon the heights. You could have a thousand reasons that you could legitimately share with me right now as to why you have a crushed spirit. And you are seen and understood But I have one reason for you to have a happy heart today. And that is that God is with you. And friend, if you're hearing all this and you're like, that sounds awesome. (laughs) To be able to be strengthened in joy regardless of what my circumstances look like. I want that. 
but you say God is with me. How is God with me? We are able to have complete unified access to the presence of God through Jesus. John 14, 6, Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. It is through Jesus by which you can have access to God, where in him is the fullness of joy. In relationship with him is complete joy in the midst of so many reasons to have a crushed spirit. And friend, through faith in Jesus that he is Lord and that he came and lived on this earth, he died on the cross, he was buried, and he rose again on the third day by faith in him alone, you shall be saved and nothing can separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Isn't that incredible? I'm encouraged. I hope that you're encouraged. And also, if you didn't know that we were launching um, a collection, I am so happy to share it with you now. So we do. We have this set that I'm wearing right now, the Happy Heart set, and I'm so honored to have shared the message behind it with you, why we chose it. Um, a troubled world does not have to mean a troubled heart. And then the other two designs, the smiley face hat and the Friend of God sweatshirt, you can go check out those messages and be sure and go on, you can go on MMAMcDaniel.com and go to shop to pick out all of your items. You can, we're going to put the link down below so you have easy access to that. And also the MMA collection on Instagram, you can find out all updates, all sales, all info, all the things. Also, have you heard podcasts? You can follow us on Instagram with that handle. If y'all are watching on YouTube, be sure and give a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below how you were encouraged, um, what your favorite merch item was out of the three from this collection. And if you are listening via Apple or Spotify, be sure and download, rate, review, share it with your people. Um, we love reading y'all's reviews and we love seeing, we just love seeing God share his word with more and more people. And we're honored to be a part of him expanding his name into the hearts of many. Um, but y'all are wonderful and I cannot wait to talk to y'all next week. Bye guys.